All right, go ahead. I'll go ahead and answer this, okay? I just got finished stopping. Checked a few emails. Um, let me answer this. Let, let me tell you something about life. Every single one of you, okay? Without commitment and consistency, you'll never get anything done. We are hardwired to look for the easy way in life. From our youth up. Why is it that only 2% out of 98% of the people succeed in life? Well, it's because there's a commitment. There's a drive. Uh, I can only speak to you from my own experience, okay? There's a drive. Uh, if it was, if everything in life was easy to do, then everybody would do it. What happens is, is we come up against walls and rather than looking for a way to try to negotiate that wall, the wall becomes a barrier to us. And that barrier becomes a stopping point for a lot of people. You'll never succeed if, you, if every time you turn around at every turn, there's a wall. If you fall, what are you going to do? Just sit down and lay down and just wallow? Waiting for somebody to come and pick you up? Or are you just going to get up on your own? I mean, every single time you fall, get up. Because I promise you, there are more people in this world that would rather see your demise and your fall than those that are actually for you. You know, I have a family. And it ain't natural by any stretch of imagination. My only natural family is really, truly truly with me. When I say with me, they live with me. I ain't going on and on and on. Blase, blase, blase is the people at Straightway. I mean, it is literally my family, for real. My family, my my family, for real. Um, outside of them, I just don't have any. I mean, I really don't. Uh, that's not to say that I have bad relationships with people. I don't. But there are a lot of people that they just don't see things the way that I see it. That's fine and good. Um, they may be my enemies, but I don't have any, all right? I'm saying all that to say this, that no matter what you do in life, you're gonna come against opposition. There's gonna be people seeking to try to change your mind and your heart, especially if you have the self-determination, you have the drive to be able to succeed at something in life. But I'm gonna tell you this right now, it ain't gonna be easy. It ain't easy. I built this community a uh, straightway and this ministry straightway from the ground up, literally from an, a, a rented apartment in Nashville, Tennessee is where I started. And there has been successes, there's been failures, there's been ups, there's been down. There's been people betraying and lying uh, deceiving, falsifying, and then there's been just a very few minute people that in this struggle, they have determined to love. Determined love. I can tell you right now that life is not easy, and the people who look for the easy way will never, ever succeed. Are there people that are always seeking to try to uh, get ahead and get advantage off the labor of somebody else's back? Sure they are. Are there people that are always there that's looking to seek to try to uh, step on you and over you just in order to advance before you? Sure they are. Sure they are. But I'm going to say it again. You've got to learn how to discern who is a positive voice of influence in your circle of influence, in your spirit. And then you've got to learn humanity and learn how to discern who is against you because there are people against you. Believe it or not, there are people that will undermine you. There are people that will twist and warp and distort your words, your meaning of your words in order to try to gain some type of coalition against you. How do I know all this? Because it hadn't been easy. Um, I'm just determined that no matter what, because of my vision, I want to keep on going. Keep on driving on. I've learned one thing true about this 
this world living in it, that the Bible is true. I've learned that for a fact because of living it myself. And I also learned the blessings that the Most High Yah gives to every single one that obeys that book. Well, I had to throw that in there. But it is not easy. Life is not easy. Um, you never ever appreciate anything when things are always handed to you and given to you. But when you have to work for it, you earn it, it means everything in the world to you. It does. It literally does. So, hang around people who have positive influence. If you are a natural born leader, don't worry about it. Somebody will come along and, and be right there with you in that same vision because everybody can't lead. Everybody just simply can't lead. And before you can actually lead, you first have to learn how to be a good follower. Uh, this ain't the military to where you go to school, um, college, and then you come in as a, a leader automatically from the beginning. That ain't what this is. Um, this is more like coming up through the ranks, uh, blood, sweat, and tears, and, and, and being at the lowest part of it. It's like put a mop bucket in your hand the whole nine yards. But um, y'all know what I'm saying. What I'm saying basically is, is this in life. If you're ever going to achieve something, accomplish something, you're going to have to set yourself apart. You're going to get your mind made up. And then you don't want to get distracted by too many things in life so you can stay focused and stay concentrated on the task at hand. That's what you have to do. Uh, you're going to, you got to realize you're going to get burnt by people in life. Don't concentrate on all the negative, evil things that people do and say about you. Don't concentrate on that. Replace all that foolishness and all that nonsense with some type, something positive in your life. Because there are people out there, like me, that is willing to give you information, advice, show you by example that this thing can be done and that you can live this thing and you can bring not only a positive influence in your life and succeed. And of course, you know, in the world, the people think succeeding is, is when you make a lot of money. No, that ain't it, because I don't make a lot of money. Uh, succeeding is doing whatever you want to do and you're happy with it and you are succeeding in it. You follow me? That is success. And of course, you know, my whole desire is y'all's kingdom. But man, I tell you, it ain't easy. Everybody who is in the 2% that has succeeded in life has worked very hard, has overcome a lot of negativity, has overcome a lot of betrayal, um, a lot of jealousy and envy of, of evil people. Um, and they just did not let that noise deter them or derail them. Some of you out there, you simply, now don't get me wrong, I'm not saying be insensitive. But some of you, you care too much about the wrong people or about what the wrong people thinks about you rather than what someone thinks about you who will encourage you to continue on. But you have to understand, you got to get off your lazy ass. You have got to get off your lazy ass and quit waiting for your ship to come in tomorrow or the next day because it ain't coming in. It ain't coming in. There's this old-fashioned law called sowing and reaping. Once you understand that, then you'll succeed. And then I can say I'll give you good understanding. But that's just the way it is. So don't get up in this abstract mental gymnastics that Christianity and some of these other religions and philosophies put inside of you and make you think that you can just change your mind and all of a sudden there's going to be a house on top of that hill. <laughs> ain't happening. You better get out of there and make believe. I've seen people be young and get old and still have that same philosophy all through life and still in the same old place. And you know what? Give it about another 5, 10, 15 years, they're going to still be in the same old place, doing the same old thing, waiting on somebody to come and give them a personal handout. Listen, if you make a way, you make it the right way, the good way, the most high, or whoever, there will always be good people 
who have benefited from your wisdom, knowledge, truth, and understanding that will come along because they themselves are good. Now, I understand there's none good and no not one. Believe me, I understand. Ain't no need to get no uh, philosophicals on me or, or just quoting scripture and what you think to be context. You know what I'm saying. There are people that are striving to be just flat out right. The Most High will connect you. He will. And it won't be many. So don't get your eyes on the many. Keep it always on the few. You can accomplish a whole lot more with just a few people than you can with a lot of people that is in the way.